So there's an entertaining one where a bride grossly underestimated her groom and his boundaries when he ended their engagement two days before the wedding. Two days. And what do you think she grossly underestimated him about? Boundaries. And what was that boundary? No male dancers at, uh, the, bachelor ba at the bachelorette party. He wasn't going to have girls of his. He didn't want uh, guys of hers. And because we all know what goes on there is, well, at least many of you guys know what goes on those things. And you're going to see how this whole thing plays out. And, and guys, this all, I can't stress enough how important it is to have boundaries. And when somebody breaks them, you have to enforce that. You have to handle it. Because if you don't, guess what? You're going to be dealing with them breaking your boundaries the rest of your life. <clears throat> Titled. Am I the a-hole for leaving my fiancé after I learned there were dancers at her bachelorette party? And I shout to Dean for sending this story. He says, well, the title reads, basically, I'm 29, and my now ex-fiancé is 29 as well. We were together for five years. We should have been married by now in the normal conditions, but I broke up with her and canceled the wedding two days before it because they invited male dancers to the bachelorette party. Ah, how loving and uh, kind of her. I am not personally a fan of these parties, but reluctantly agreed after both the groom and bride side confirmed we would keep it simple. I told my ex-fiance I'm not comfortable with dancers or any kind of crazy things. She agreed. I also told my friends if they were to do stupid things like that without me knowing, we would have problems. Okay, clear as can be. Doesn't want to do the bachelor bachelorette party anyway, but fine, we'll do it, but no freaking dancers. Even told his bros none of this crap. Uh, we stayed at my friend's summer house and chilled there by the pool, did some WoW raids, or World of Warcraft raids, and played board games. My ex-fiancé and her friends went to a restaurant, then rented an Airbnb. There was no problem during the night, and the next day I asked how things went. She and her close friends said it was really chill and good. Okay, really chill and good. We returned to the city center after that. I encountered another bridesmaid that day, and when I was shopping for a bracelet for my ex-fiancé for her upcoming birthday. I asked that girl, how's everything, as we were in the same department at the college, but rarely talk now. She is closer with my fiancé than me. She said, it's going good, and last night was crazy with all the dancers. Uh, excuse me? Crazy with all the dancers? I thought there weren't any dancers. My fiancé and her friends said, uh, you know, it was uh, basically a chill night. Chill and good, that's what they told me. But now you're telling me crazy with all the dancers? After saying that, she looked very uncomfortable. I asked her about the details, but she was not willing to tell me much. Well, her not telling you much told you everything. I think she realized that she should not have talked about it. I laughed, said goodbye, and left. Well, there you go. They lied to him. He made it clear. I don't want to do bachelorette parties. Fine, but no dancers. Because, guys, in case you don't know, the you know it's one thing with the female dancers, the bachelor parties... But the bachelorette parties, the male dancers quite often get frisky with the women. It is well known. And if you guys don't believe me or don't know about that, well, open up your eyes. Listen to some people that have worked in that industry. Limo drivers, bartenders, bouncers, and of course, male dancers. I've heard from takes from them all. And now, that is like a giant F you to this guy from his bride. I confronted my fiance about it, and she seemed surprised. Oh, for goodness sake. She was denying it at first, then told me nothing crazy happened, and one of the bridesmaids invited dancers. Well, interesting, because your friend I met over there in the city said that it was crazy night. And by the way, you lied to me, on purpose, and you're downplaying it. I reminded her that it was a strict boundary for me. I asked about the details, but she said there was nothing much with dancers, just solo dances, and that's it. I told her I need some time to think. Oh, him telling her he needs time to think is probably making her crazy, because that's now bringing uncertainty to her situation. He says, almost all the bridesmaids messaged me ensuring that nothing happened when I was way, on my way back to home. He says, oh, and sarcastically, he says, definitely this was not coordinated. Yep, they're all in on it. Things happened after that, but in the end, I decided to break and cancel the wedding. Whoa, she wasn't expecting that two days before the wedding. I lost some money since it was only two days before the wedding. Things are not cool right now. Well, I have a hard time believing this guy paid for everything. Clearly, other her family paid for part of it, and maybe his family paid for part of it. That's usually how it goes. I'm sure they were pretty pissed off, but you know what? At the end of the day, he has a right to do this. My head is messed up. 
I get criticism from everyone and no idea about what to do. My sister told me to see a therapist to process my thoughts and feelings. That's what I'll do next. Some mutuals suggested me that I should reconsider things and stop being so whiny about such a small thing. I do not think it's a small thing, especially when they all try to hide it from me. Am I the a-hole here? No, dude, you're not. But guess what? A lot of people will think you're overreacting or whining or being the a-hole here. Look, he made abundantly clear. I don't want that going on. But the thing is, he then, she then did it anyway, lied about it, then downplayed it when he confronted her, and her friend even said, yeah, it was crazy. Well, then obviously it was more than just simple, like, you know, a guy shaking his butt and stripping and doing the little dance. He was making a little love, you know? And a lot of things go at these bachelorette parties where the male dancer's hot dog is being tasted by many of the bridesmaids, or worse, including the bride herself. Believe me, I've heard them all. And so this guy has a right to not want him to do that. And then she lied about it. It's his life. Because if he went on with the wedding knowing that she lied to him, that'd be only the beginning. It would That, that would be their marriage. Because she then would know, I can lie to him, I can pull bullshit, I can cheat, and I guarantee what's happening. And he's still going to stick around. I guarantee this bride went into it thinking, hey, I got this guy. He's not going to br break up the, the, the engagement. He's going to still marry me. He's a pushover. And she was wrong. She grossly underestimated him. I think it's hilarious. So guys... You got to set boundaries and you have to enforce them. And oftentimes, you enforcing them ain't going to be popular with a lot of people because most people are pushovers and weak. Now, a few comments where I wrap up this story. One says, Not the a hole. It was crazy with all the strippers, she said. It's hugely different from what it was really chill and good. This isn't just lying, this is total reversal of the truth. Even her, it was just solo dances. It's not the same as crazy. So they're all lying, all of them except the first one. Yeah, the first one just blurted it out. And then she realized, uh-oh, I shouldn't have said that. Another comment. Says, uh, she violated your trust. You both agreed, no dancers. She had dancers. It doesn't matter who made the arrangement, she could have told them to leave. Uh, then when you knew, she lied, and then she doubled down and initially denied it. She stressed the violation of your trust even further. Not a way to start a marriage. You did the correct thing. If you married her, you wouldn't know if you wouldn't know if how or when she was lying. Not the a-hole. Another one says, uh, look, they tell you otherwise, but there's a huge difference between female dancers at a bachelor party and male dancers at a bachelorette party. The males are more inclined to let things get physical, and the way the friend described it, it sounds like that's exactly what happened. Also, at the end of the day, it all comes down to her lying about it and denying it. If nothing happened, she would have told you when she found out it was happening. Correct. Exactly. And even if her friends brought them, hired the dancers without her knowing, she could have done something about it. Because I guarantee this guy would have. <clears throat> and one more. It says here, not the a-hole. You established a boundary of no dancers, then there were dancers. She did not immediately confess to the dancers, hid it from you, then lied. Lied about it happening. This is a complete breach of trust and transparency. Do not focus on what actually happened with the dancers, as it's totally unprovable. You'll never know the truth. She already lied once. No way she's going to come clean about what really happened at the party itself. Focus on how you establish a boundary and that there will be consequences if broken. She disrespected you in the relationship when she chose the party or for what she agreed to. <clears throat> she's not upset because she broke your trust. She's upset she got caught and there were consequences. Your sister is right, though. You probably could benefit from therapy to work through your emotions. And yes, this is a big deal. What a shitty way to have it start out of marriage after that. You showed integrity by canceling. Trust is broken. Take your time to consider how you'll move forward. You deserve better. And I want to point out, I believe he said that they're both uh, 29 years old. Well, his prime is just beginning. Her prime is ending. So now she has to start all over again. And she knows it. And uh, I think that's quite hilarious. But you know what? She underestimated him. She thought he was a pushover. She can get what she wanted. And look what happened. It backfired. As more and more of these guys are learning to have balls and set boundaries, stand up for themselves, you're going to see more of this happening. Because you know what? This has to happen more and more and more. And stories like this have to be spread. So respect is given once again. You know, it's just, it's, we're in Sam Gamora 2.0. I, I point this out all the time, you know. And it's a big mess out there. So good for him. He did the right thing. Hallelujah.